And Mega Man Zero 4, the final part in the fourth part trilogy. So let's just get started, alright? The plot is quite clear, and I did some practice, of course, so just to know where to start. And this is not gonna be completely unblind as in was in Zero 3, this is gonna be semi blind as in I've done practice to become a bit familiar with this. So, new game with normal mode. Uh, that's not actually a smart idea because there's the uncanny valley. But that was a good idea. A and. Yeah, yeah, because, well, you know, there's difficulty with the other sentience and all that. Uh, oh yeah, that was a problem when because they were basically re reverse engineered from something they wasn't really well known. So they was fighting. Yeah, basically when you create slave race, it doesn't matter if it's artificial, but they're sentient, they will be, be make become more. Oh, that cr that criminal is very true, that Dr. Whale is criminal. And he's managed to... Oh yeah, some he, because he's insane people start to get to leave. Oh yeah, no more utopia, so there's a peop hu people decided to just fuck off. And seeing that the reploids are b basically artificial humans, Dr. Whale can always create himself more loyal subjects. But that's a big caravan, big truck caravan, and of course... They don't let them. He doesn't lo let anybody to be. He doesn't want to anybody leaving. Yeah, he doesn't like anybody leaving his home. Oh, it's zeros here. Yep, the resistance movement is here to stop a... And... Uh, time to do the control uh, control adjustment. Nope, that's done. It's quite annoying that the game uh, is in a sense hard-coded to follow specific kind of control settings instead of something that you could just decide to be run. Yeah, but there's turrets. And for some reason, Zero does not have his basic sword. I don't know why they made it out, but instead of that, he can yank out any enemy weapons, which doesn't su isn't actually so useful. And of course, after yanking them out, he can also throw it away. But basically, I'd say that that's uh, not general improvement on things so it's just better to just rely on the much more classical Mega Man gameplay of just shooting them uh, and I don't know why they made it so much that uh, they took this little bit step backwards in basic gameplay because there were already been three games in which the close combat with the 
me Zero's melee weapon rebuffs the emphasis, but, no but now they remove the victors, they're quite disappointing. And weapon removal, basically it gives much more options, but practically it doesn't. Yep. Uh, this kind of method of starting ri directly from the action is called in medias hairs, if I remember right, and yeah. And of course I am using the save spots. Oh, and a big... And a big lump of thing to be shot to pieces. I did a bit of mistake. But, ah shit. Made a big big mistake because this is of course this kind of boss encounter is not particularly difficult. And you can of course skip all this long scene. Or not so long. Yeah, the blue beam just dash beneath it. and uh, avoid the red beam, which bouncy red beam. It shoots three of those big, big blue beams. But luckily you can just, they don't block your shot, so you can just blast right through them. Like that. It, it, it's a simple warm-up boss. Yep. And of course, after your winning or mission complete, you can get the ranking. Not much. Yeah, they are suspicious. Uh, yeah, they are rare. It's practically just one. Yeah, they made a deal. They, they designed her cute. Uh, well, did, did, wasn't there any kind of knowledge again in Neo Arcadia about anything going on around? The suppression of knowledge must have been very strong. And Zero is very dangerous. Because his personal, well, at least his original personality's body count was must have most likely been counted on billions so yes he is very dangerous over to say he's capable of being very dangerous
that's a good observation from zero. Oh yeah. He's really, he's now going from the, uh, he's just started the reign of terror. Who would be controlled of that? Yeah. Uh, and the hero actually is true. And uh, yeah. And it's now led by a human, very vicious, crazy human. old-fashioned rule of terror and dictatorship Well, yeah, actually Zero def defeated the leader of New Arcadia twice. First, the original form, who was not an original, and then the, co then the second copy version, which was actually more or less rigged rig to, rig to die if it was able to be defeated, uh, challenged and defeated. And Dr. Wheel most likely knew that it would happen. Area zero. Yeah, yeah. Be, uh, trying to found a new settlement away from very psychotically, psychotically insane wheel. Actually, there's no need to save now. Because now it's just time to go on pay visit to Servo. Not here. And of course the resistance space itself is also been moving around, so but here's a servo. Yeah, that's a new kind of upgrade upgrade system. You loot body parts from the enemies, build build new upgrade parts. Also, but what 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 has she learned about? Yeah, that's uh, if I remember right. That was act of. That was either in X4 or X5, where that event happened. Which, which is quite actually interesting little bit.
Oh, that, that's actually quite wi got wi viable because... Actually, yes, I am going. Oh, that's bad. Nothing good. Seeing that what kind of personality that Dr. Whale is, they are up to no good. Yeah, there's a, there's quite it's quite lots of greenery. Uh, nothing good, but there's no need to be a really really. But for that. There's no no need to be really. <laughs> that nothing good is very easy to know. No, 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 figure out that yeah he is up to no good. Yep, that that's what you can do. You can you can yank out weapons from enemies. Sometimes they have infinite ammo or something like that. Not always. And they aren't usual, and quite often they are not so ha useful. These grabby weapons, mostly because, like in this case, it just swing swivels about. And goes to. Give me your shield. Oh shit! That was my that was my stupid man failed failed maneuvering. So I I really don't know what was the point in uh, in taking away Zero Saber, especially when the intro really shows that he still has it, but why he can't wield it? I find it quite. I find it quite uh, uh, clunk clunkily made. Uh, well, variation and uh, getting some new things about gameplay I is always a good, nice, good idea, especially if you can implement those ideas well. But in this case, it has not been implemented so efficient. You could say well. Uh, I don't really li uh, I'm not so particularly keen about that not so well implemented idea of re readjusted gameplay and a couple of energy crystals those are like in previous zero games will be in very will be important but of course that shield stolen from the And there's a new mechanic of grabbing things and so you can write them. Uh, giving them a bit more... Uh, uh, making Zero a bit more maneuverable again, again, but nothing really, you could say, practically fundamentally changing things. Uh, and there's also uh, chances to all kinds of ra ra rails to ride 
nothing and spikes of course and spikes like in usually Mega Man games are instant death unless you have some upgrade to mitigate that and some tutorial part about these what could be called monkey bars for you to from you to, for you to hang hang on to and some some enemies also drop things for you to hang so uh, that you can use to write things but big room a lot of, a lot of noise and a big thing but as they said the bigger they get the harder they fall <laughs> and this in and in this one it's a bit of uh, different from usual Mega Man st structure of having or better say since the Zero C X series having a basic having you could say a practice or tutorial stage and then getting to the plot part in this one it's much more this, this part than two tutorial stages before the actual you could say selectable stages phase but this thing shoot it to the head it generally is not so particularly dangerous except well it is dangerous but it's much more of a dangerous looking thing than really dangerous in you could say in manners which are far dangerous at least to me in my in my how i see the bosses boss things being dangerous and these in zero games boss things which are fast and aggressive are dangerous time to scrap the art for you Not so zero esque way of putting it to this scrapyard. Oh, getting forward. Screaming and yelling by a bird thing. Yep, that's your only choice. And there's another one. Oh, and there's even a bigger one, um, amount of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. They know. And they are most likely scared, or at least wary. And of course, that that's very practical way of thinking. Oh. And that must be leading them. Craft. Oh, that sounds s bad. So, yeah. If something's called Ragnarok, that sounds bad. And destroying the major in there also sounds very petty and bad. If you are sold, you should know that that uh, well, he's most likely created to. So he most likely uses his reploid forces to oppress humans 
in New York area. Yep, somehow not surprised. Uh, yeah, that's very petty. Uh, sane people. Oh, now that would be the name of, of the bosses. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, make it unlivable and then just break it down completely. It, it, it's not, it's not just pe evil plan, it's petty. Well, seeing how they are, you might just say that just another maverick to me. They yeah, might have fancy titles, but basically they just, you could say that just another maverick to be disposed of. Just like their boss. A danger to humans and, uh, and even to their own kind. So, for safety of everybody else, killing. Well, that's actually in a sense good. That's actually yeah. There's a bit of bit of alterations on the cyber elf system as well, but nothing really you could say fundamentally different. Uh, well, it works. I don't know what might be its meaning. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know in what kind of language because translation in this game is quite sloppy. Yeah, explain it. So Let's feed it. And talk. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, that's actually quite handy. You, you can just evolve that elf and you can equip new abilities. But it was in here is the settlement. Looks like some sort of military camp. And reception is not friendly. That's very dain very smart. And seal is right.
Oh yeah, they, they, I don't think the human population numbers are really big in this, in this sense. Zero is blunt. We gave them the knowledge and it's now it's up to them to decide on what to, how to act. So zero is just basically We'll wait and let them learn that, yeah, we were right. Uh, mostly because he's quite he's, pessi he's quite pessimistic. Most likely hard way. Oh yeah, the basic me Mega Man boss number, 8th. Not now, yes. Because it's time to end this episode right here. There's been a plot happening and all that kind of things. But now we know the basic idea of the sto story and how it's gonna happen and uh, all that. So, see you next time. See ya.